Do you think he has a case? You know, I don't think he has a case. I understand his arguments and I understand his animosity toward CNN. The complaint lays out the most extreme things that CNN said about him, but all of those things are protected opinion because Donald Trump is a public person, in this case, literally the most recognizable public person on the planet. He must overcome the New York Times against Sullivan rule, which says that he must demonstrate by clear and convincing evidence, not that CNN's opinions were right wrong or bad or harmful, but that they in fact contained falsehoods and that CNN knew they were false or that CNN was reckless in its concern for truth or falsity. That is a very, very high bar for him to overcome, particularly when what he's complaining about is opinion. I mean, CNN said horrible things about him. In their opinion, he's a latter-day Hitler. That is repellent and despicable, but it's just an opinion and it's protected by the First Amendment. Even though, even though it's a hose, I believe is Christiane Amanpour, who compared him to Hitler and then went on to apologize, saying she shouldn't have done it. Nonetheless, the damage, the genie was out of the bottle. Does he not have a claim that his reputation is damaged and therefore will have more difficulty raising funds for a future presidential run? Yes, Eric, that is his claim, but he still has to overcome that Times Against Sullivan standard. So what CNN's lawyers will do is to make a motion to dismiss on the grounds that he didn't allege and did didn't prove actual malice, knowledge of falsity or reckless disregard for the truth. The failure to allege and to demonstrate that is fatal to the complaint, no matter how untoward the defendant's behavior may have been. The public policy reason behind this is he's Donald Trump. His megaphone is bigger than CNN's. He can refute this with more skill and a bigger audience than CNN can advance it.